Hello, I'm Charles Grove. I'd like you to know about Laurel House. It's an organization here in Connecticut with wonderful resources that help people with mental illness live normal lives. Laurel House, resources to recover. Mental illness used to be, you talked about it in whispers, not anymore, I'm happy to say. Because here in Connecticut, there's an organization called Laurel House with wonderful resources for people living with mental illness. I was asked by John Rossica, who's connected to Laurel House over a year ago, if I would come and visit, and I did, and I've uh, been there more than once, and uh, it, it's a, a very good place to go. You don't want to be alone by yourself with your problems because they tend to feed on themselves. And it's better to be with other people, and then you begin to realize that everybody has problems, and that's the norm. It's, it's somewhat over a year that I got involved with Laurel House and visited there and uh, have been there enough to know it's a very pleasant environment and it's for people with emotional problems but uh, it seemed the same as any place else to me right. and it's free and people's lives could, could be changed by the professionals there. I'm involved with a lot of, a lot of uh, different organizations and causes and, and mostly I'm an advocate for inmates I feel are unjustly in prison and Happily, uh, I'm a little reluctant to say this because the mail keeps coming in, but I've never failed to get anyone out of prison because I take on cases where I'm certain they don't belong there and, and, and Governor Pataki and then Governor Patterson agreed with me. So the law was actually changed, the Rockefeller drug law was changed by one of the cases for a woman for whom I, I advocated uh, and then, then about 1,500 people got out of prison when they changed. These are nonviolent offenders. I, I don't advocate on behalf of people uh, with violent backgrounds. In fact, I personally feel that too often we let people out of prison who have violent backgrounds and they have not been treated. So they go out and they commit, the Cheshire murders come to, come to mind. These people shouldn't have been uh, out of prison. And so while I think some people, no way should they be in prison, I think some people should not be let out of prison because they have not gotten past what got them there in the first place. Uh, most of the people incarcerated in America were either dealing with drug problems or mental illness. And unfortunately, uh, I don't believe that our prisons are set up in a way to deal with these very overwhelming problems. You have women at Bedford Hills eating their mattresses and banging their heads against the wall. And they need, this is not a simple issue. I mean, you really need trained professionals. Even then, you may not be successful. There's an alternate, there's an alternate ending uh, that I think, actually, I'd like to try first. After you hit, after you say, basically,